everybody. Welcome back. Next day here now. Alan is now cutting the new seeding that we had planted last year. So we'll get some shots of that. Hey Mocha. Hey Millie. storms come through Minnesota and we had shown in a few videos where we thought that we had a lightning strike and some of the stuff that we've been finding from the damage of that and sure enough we found a little bit more it's kind of interesting so along here down there is that burnt stump that we think maybe started on fire from the lightning strike and anyway there's a fence line it goes right along the woods here and there was an insulator in this oak tree you can see where she got blowed up. So then you can look at, I'll go show you. The lightning strike went and actually blew the whole wire right, it was just gone. So it like just launched it or something. But you can see on the insulators here, this is a yellow insulator and you can see where it's burnt. It's crazy the power that lightning has. New seating turned out pretty nice. Considering how dry it was last year, we thought this stuff would all be just burnt up and gone. But it looks pretty dang good. have to excuse my voice we're getting over a nasty cold here and I kind of lost my voice so have to bear with me on that <clears throat> but it's June I believe June 8th today 2022 we're out here uh, in the new seating field <clears throat> cut this yesterday um, this hay turned out really nice uh, mostly alfalfa I planted alfalfa orchard grass um, <clears throat> a little bit of clover in places that must have just come on its own but Oh uh, man, just really turned out to be some nice hay. <clears throat> a little bit weedy in places, but that's to be expected with new seeding. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, what we're gonna do, I got the bee farm all hooked up to our tedder. We're gonna run through and ted this. Um, <clears throat> it would dry on its own, but you can shorten it up a lot, drying time with that tedder. So um, <clears throat> it breaks up the clumps and stuff dries more evenly. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get started make a few rounds here and then I'm gonna have Justin take over. <clears throat> Be his first time running the tether, so we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> um, I was gonna put Franklin on the tether, that little uh, nine end Ford we have, but I tried that last year and <clears throat> with the drawbar being on the three point, it sits back too far and the PTO isn't long enough. It reaches, but I don't know, I had some issues last year. I actually had, I actually bent the PTO shaft on the tether. So <clears throat> I gotta do a little bit of figuring on that yet, but, so we'll use the B on it for now, but I'm gonna get this set up here and we'll make a couple rounds. <laughs>
All right, been a little while now here. We're gonna go check on Justin's progress with the tether. Looks like he's still going. <clears throat> smells good. I love that drying alfalfa. It smells really good. I did the outside two rounds and he's been doing the rest himself. He's doing a really good job. Cruising right along. Just like a pro. Well, he's about done there, so I'm gonna go <clears throat> get some other stuff moved around, probably get the baler out, start getting that ready, and uh, <clears throat> keep on plugging away here. This'll be, well, this won't be ready today for sure. Probably a couple days yet, but um, <clears throat> let it dry out, make sure it's nice and dry. I could wrap it, but it <clears throat> looks like pretty good weather, so I think I'll just leave it dry. But for now, I'm going to go start getting some other stuff ready.
we go. Got the ride bailed up. Um, just a little over four bales. So I was happy with that. I thought I was going to get about two down here. I think this field's about three, three and a half acres. So I was happy with that. Um, I haven't even checked these bales, but they look like they're pretty tight. But yeah, it uh, looks like it should make some pretty decent feed. This stuff was starting to head out some, but um, I need some for the heifers anyway. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good, looks nice, so. We'll go up now and uh, start bailing on that new seating.